Good morning, it's Mr. Pete again, and I know I promised no more auctions, uh, but I am going to one this morning, but I won't buy anything, I hope. And I'm just pulling into a little town here about 12 miles from home, and uh, this is not a household auction. It features almost strictly shop tools and tractors and uh, man stuff as such. Oh, I see an auction sign. Now there will be a lathe and two milling machines and I'm not interested in buying them. I'm always interested in seeing uh, the value of them and what they go for and I know that some of you people do not have auctions like this but it seems like these lathes and milling machines come up all the time but I look I like to look at uh, other associated tools. I think there's a Wilton Vice here I may be interested in. I'm just about there. I came about an hour early. Hopefully there wouldn't be too many people here yet and I could take some video footage without people, be, people being in the way but I see there's already a pretty good sized crowd but it's almost 90 minutes till the auction actually starts but it looks like there's plenty of parking. And you know what I've been here in this neighborhood quite a few times to garage sales. And it looks like there's some good off-road parking here. I think I'll back in right there. Quite a few tools outside here. I wouldn't mind having this kit right here.
All right, here it is, and here's my booty for the day. And I'm heading for the barn. Well, the auction is over and I'm on my way home. It's November 2nd. We're having a very late harvest this year because the crops got in very late and then it snowed here recently, so it's been very unusual weather during the entire growing season. So you see there's still a lot of corn standing but some of the fields are taken down already. All right, let's get home and get this stuff unloaded. Well, I'm back safely from the auction, and this represents the sum total of $90 that I wasted. I know I said I wasn't going to more auctions, but the, this probably truly is the last one. So let's go over these items. There's some uh, unique things here, some pretty common, but of course, since you call me the vice man, I bought two vices and was outbid on another great big bench vice. I bought this motor. I thought I'd get it for $250, but it was mounted on a table saw. So I bought the whole table saw and then I took this off, but I ended up paying $750 for it. It's a pennies motor. But I believe it's a $3450, but it runs fine for future use. This is a very unusual dividing head that will be the subject of a video or a what is it later on so I'm not going to really talk about that but it's kind of neat. And I bought this 12 inch Sterrett precision level with two good vials. That was 20 bucks. Pretty good shape, bit stained on the bottom. And this is a 26 inch Sterrett vernier with special jaws in it. Now I paid ten dollars for this along with another group of things so it's not in real good shape and it's badly stained down to the end. I th it's way too long for me. I think I'll chop it off with a chop saw at about eight inches. Just kidding. This is a Cardinal Speed Vice. I paid twelve bucks for it. 
No, 15. Way more than it's worth. I thought I had it for five. I only bought it because I recently did a video rebuilding one of these and replacing this plate, but you can see it's pretty badly mutilated here, but I may do something with it. It's a six inch. Did, did I say that? Probably not worth messing with, but it's a possible project. Now the reason I bought this vise is that it is a possible project because look at this. It runs backwards. I'm turning it clockwise and it's opening and now that's insane. So really this needs a left hand thread. That would be a good project in the future for me to uh, refit this with a left hand thread and clean it up a bit. Other than that, it's kind of a nice vise. I don't see a name on it. I don't like the handle one bit. This was five dollars. Now, they put it up with a, a real cheap dial caliper and I and it went up to twenty and then the man selected the caliper and left this lay and then they rebid it. He asked me if I wanted it for twenty I said no, rebid it and then I got it for five. So this is a coaxial indicator. I'm not sure what brand. I haven't even looked at it yet, but it seems to work. It's a Blake out of City of Industry, California. The Sterrett caliper came with these two boxes of retaining rings. I think you know I like these Stanley bolt cutters because they can cut threaded rod. So I was bidding on this, but they threw it in with another couple boxes. So I ended up paying $15 for it because I think somebody was after this silver solder, which I suppose is about 50 bucks worth if you had to buy it. This wasn't in that box, but there is uh, wire ties and anti-spatter and uh, two of these magnets for corners and some other miscellaneous in the other one. Not hardly worth what I paid for it, but I did want that bolt clippers. This is some type of inspection gauge, which I thought was kind of neat, but somebody lost the rod for me before I bid on it, but there was a rod that came up here, something like a steric surface gauge and this knob tightens the clamp right here and I don't know what this one does yet but I shall find out and there is a name on there but I can't tell what it says but it it appears to be nicely made possibly hardened probably from the Second World War This Sterrett caliper is, is not in good shape at all, but it might be accurate. I'll check it out. But the reason I bought it, and I got it for almost nothing, is I'd like to give a lesson sometime on how to read a vernier. And this is a vernier. It's not a dial caliper. And it is the 50 division, which is far easier to read and does not require as much magnification as the older 25. So it, and a satin chrome. But... I don't know if that's dirt or pitting. I think it's pitting. I need to look this up. I don't know if it was available with different points or not. Well, that concludes this little discussion on what I bought at the auction today. And I really went there so that I could see what these larger machines, lathes and milling machines, are selling for because a lot of you are interested in that. So be sure and watch that portion of the video. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now and I'll see you next time.